Hello, today we're going to talk to you about IDP's user-defined masks. And we'll talk about adding security to your standard cards with or, with or without laminate using these defined masks. And today we'll create them using Microsoft Paint, a simple application that everybody probably has on their PC in front of them. The first thing we need to do to create a user-defined mask is to set the file size to the correct dimension so it'll be uploaded into the printer without any problems. So we'll go to File Properties and then we'll make sure that the file size is 1012 by 633 pixels. And this is already set for that, so we'll say OK. The second thing we need to do is we need to create a background color uh, or mask that will set off our elements. So for a UV user-defined masks, we have to create this background color from a blue, it's a very specific blue, RGB is 0, 0, 255. We'll add that to our, one of our standard colors, we'll use the fill tool, and we'll fill in the background. So think of the blue background as the negative image and the black images or text as the positive images, and those positive images are what will be printed using the blue, uh, excuse me, using the UV panel on the YMCFKO ribbon. So now we have our background, so what we'll do is I'll open up a Word document that has a couple of clip art images which are easy to use. We'll just copy paste, so we'll copy our logo here, paste it into place, Put that down in that region, grab this little lock, copy and paste that, put that down in this corner, maybe we'll do another one in that top corner, and let's do a third in this far corner. Now obviously these images have some white background, and we cannot have the white background um, when we're using a color mask. So what we'll have to do is use the fill tool again, and we'll fill those background colors, easy areas first, and then we'll come back and do the little corners here. So again, what's happening is we're creating basically negative and positive. So the negative again is the blue area, which will not be printed using the YMCFKO ribbon, or the F for UV panel. And the black area is what will be printed on the card using that UV panel. So we can also uh, create a text box. So we'll create a text box uh, in black ink. We'll just drop it down here and we'll say security is everyone's responsibility. a little bigger so it fits in there. So now we've done it. We have created a, a user-defined mask that can be uploaded to the smart printer driver. So we'll go ahead and save that. We'll save it as a 16-bit color bitmap image. We'll call it the UV I've already got one in here, so we'll just call it UV Mask 1. Save. So now to create a, a mask that can be used for the O panel, um, we do the exact same thing except the negative part of the image will be pink instead of blue. So again, it's a very specific pink, so we need to, it's 255, 0, 255. Add up the custom colors. So, okay. And then we'll use the fill tool again and we'll fill in the background. We'll get these little bits of lettering here. Okay. Now we've created a user mask. For the O panel. So what's going to happen is the pink part of the image will not print, but the black part of the image will print. So 
the black part of the image will be printed using the O panel of your ribbon, so the YMCKO panel. That part of the panel will transfer onto the card. And then again, we don't recommend that you do this without a laminate. So this O panel piece would be printed on the card and then the card would be laminated using the 50L printer. And the effect is an embossed or latent image effect, similar to latent image holography. So now we can go ahead and save this part of it. We'll save that as O panel latent image mask. Okay. Now all is left is to upload these images to the driver. So we'll open up our devices and printers. We'll go to the 50 series, which is attached to my PC here, go to printing preferences. And the first thing to do if you're using a laminator is to go to the laminator tab and turn the overlay on. And then apply that. Then you can go to side media and then change it from standard to user defined card. And then that'll open up Hopefully the area which you've created, we'll call this the O panel mask we'll do first, okay, and apply. So now we've done it. So now in that 50L printer, every time it prints, you'll get this, these images as latent image holography that'll look like an embossed effect underneath the laminate. Very clever. If we wanted to change that to a UV, we can simply open that up again and change that to the blue image or the UV image. And then every card that gets printed using our YMCFKO ribbon will have these elements printed in ultraviolet ink. We'll hit apply and okay. And that's all there is to it. So there's there, these are two really simple ways to increase security of your laminating printer or your regular dual or single sided printer without a laminator. Not very expensive. It's a good solution that everybody can take advantage of. Thank you.